Los Toscano Boxing Promotions y VIP The Best in Boxing presentan este encuentro pactado a cuatro rounds en la división de peso mosca. Let's get ready for four rounds of boxing in the flyweight division. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Leobardo Ibarra, Juan Luis Barba y Francisco Pacheco. Your referee in charge, su referee para este combate, Ángel Méndez. Introducing your, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He wears blue with white and silver. He officially weighs in 108 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul, pantalón en color azul con blanco y plata, con un peso de 108 libras. He holds 15 professional bouts, con 15 combates profesionales de aquí, de Tijuana, Baja California. Juan Gómez Torres. And his opponent across the ring is standing in the red corner, wearing white and green. He officially weighs in the same 108 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo pantaloncillo de color blanco con verde, con un peso idéntico de 108 libras. Professionally, he stands with a record of two victories, one defeat, and one victory coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de dos victorias, una derrota, y una victoria por la vía del cloroformo. Representing his hometown of Stockton, California, USA, Marco Arroyo Tercero. And to give out the final instructions, con las indicaciones finales, su referee, Ángel Ramos. Cuatro saltos, four rounds. As we begin our first swing bout of the night, we got Marco Arroyo, two and one from Stockton, California, versus Juan Gomez Torres from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. If you guys haven't noticed, I love saying that that way. As uh, we see uh, Marco Arroyo, the third, sporting the super sweet rat tail. I don't think I've ever, I think I have sported that haircut, excuse me, yes. You well, would, remember you had a mullet. I had a mullet at one point in my life. I, uh. I believe every, every man should have a mullet at one point in their life. Man? You see, uh, you see Juan Gomez has Pitufo in the front of his shorts. For those that don't know, Pitufo is Smurf. He loves blue. Good hard right hand by Arroyo. And the experience factor for Gomez. Yes, he does have a losing record, 15 fights, but he's gonna be game. He's gonna be there the whole time and, and he's he's walking down the younger fighter. Arroyo's doing a good job by keeping that jab active. Good combination by Pitufo. And, and, and Pitufo seems to have the, the outer adoration of, of the crowd here, you know. I mean, you, uh, know, you know, Pitufo's from Tijuana. From Tijuana and we have course. the champion here from Tijuana. That's got to motivate you. And a good shot landed by Arroyo, trying to follow up, trying to see if he can take his opponent out early. Might be just too much experience, Juan, Juan Gomez Torres. You know, Marco Arroyo had his had his belt, his last belt, his last three belts uh, canceled. So he's coming off a. His his last fight was um, June, May May two thousand nineteen. So. Yeah, it's been over a year that he's been able to get in the ring, and uh, from what he told us, he had numerous fights scheduled, excuse me, numerous fights scheduled, but they kept falling out, man. And that's tough, man, at the beginning of your career. That's what happens, you know? You take fights on the fly. Um, you build up that, you're trying to build up that record, you know? Um, so definitely having a promoter uh, will put you in a better spot, but if you don't have that promoter, if you don't have that manager backing you up, you're gonna have a hard time at the beginning of your career if you have a successful career. That's a big if for any young fighter. 
with a good oh. right hand. Good right hand by Juan, Juan Gomez Torres to close the. Gomez connects. And they're letting Marco Arroyo the third sit down. They're letting him sit down while the ref counts. And I've never seen such. I've never seen such a such a weird moment in boxing where you could sit down and take a count. I want to see if he knocked him out before the bell rang. Let's see if we can hear with sound. And we don't have sound from the truck. But here we're going to see that hard right hand landed by, by Gomez. That was a solid right hand. You see his uh, Arroyo's and, legs buckle. And I believe that it was right before the bell. There was no bell. That knock, that knockdown was uh, right before the bell, and uh, Marcos was right away went down to, you know, to the stool. Yeah, so that that was a little weird. Um, the stool was out, so he just naturally went to it, right? He As didn't expect the count. Maybe the ref should have took a little bit more initiative. Hey, stand up. Yeah, you know, um, which was the right move to do. Should have been. But now, now, Marco Arroyo the third has an uphill mountain to climb because he's down. He's down by two points in a four-round fight. Yeah. And you know what? I, I mean, Arroyo is keeping his hands not not how he should, is, you know, a pocket guard. I believe in, um, I'm seeing that his favorite fighter is Roy Jones. And you know Roy Jones had that athleticism. That athleticism keeping his hands down because he could, you know, slip. And Make you miss right and then counter. The yeah. So that that's that's definitely a style that I would not say to emulate unless you have that talent, you know. And that talent, maybe there's just one Roy Jones, bro. That's it. Oh, there's there's always gonna be just one Roy Jones. Uh, 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 um, you know, young fighters have to keep that guard up. You know, they have to respect the sport and understand that at any moment you can take a punch and it can change change and, the whole story and there goes gomez torres again landing that overhand right which he had success with obviously in that in that first round to close the round and i like that gomez didn't rush in on arroyo he's staying calm yeah he's, he's staying calm off. I, I think um, whether you said it on air or off air about the the fact uh, the age factor Marco Arroyo is a very young guy. I think 20, I believe. 20, 20, uh, 21. 21. I'm sorry. 24. 24. Still a young guy. He looks like a dang 16 year old. Um, no argument for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I was going to question his man strength, but at 24, you have your man strength. Did you have your man strength at 24, sir, at the age you're at now? You're at 24, right? 24. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to fight now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to get a passive-aggressive Dylan Miranda here. I'm just asking a question. Also, I don't like the way you looked at me there, Dylan. Hey, man. And good again, overhand right. An overhand right again. And what a good move going to the body of Arroyo. And there he goes again going to the body. Knowing that he hurt him to the head, that experience, guys, that experience. You know, and talking about experience, I think Arroyo needs to, uh, you know, use that jab and, and, and move. You don't have to go into the game that Bitufo wants you to go because he's falling into it. He's and a shorter fighter. He wants you on the inside. He's definitely falling to it. And I gave that last round to, to Gomez again. So mathematically... Marco Arroyo needs a knockout or a knockdown to even up the, the rounds. Yeah. And, and it goes to say, guys, you look at a guy's record, Juan Gomez Torres is 3-12. and 12. His skill level is not saying he's 3-12. and 12. As we take a look here of that hard that right hand by Gomez, is that a guy that's 3-12? and 12? You tell me. You know, I, I, I wasn't expecting this performance, 
by by Gomez, but uh, you know, don't judge a fighter by his record. He is staying calm yeah. and he's picking uh, Ar Arroyo off. Yeah, definitely don't fight. Uh, don't judge a fighter by his record. You know, um, I'm gonna give you my my take on this. I saw Marco Arroyo coming out with his rat tail. I said, you know what? This man has confidence. This man is gonna win tonight. He's having a hard time here, Dylan. You know what you gotta see is that uh, Gomez has a tail of his own. We didn't we didn't talk about that one. We didn't talk he about that. He has that Viking, one, that Viking, Viking haircut tail. going. Yeah, there you go. Maybe I don't like it as much. How about that? Not a Viking fan. So, Dylan, what do, what do you think uh, Marco Arroyo has to do to get back into this fight? Because he's not having too much success. Tell me. I think Marco Arroyo has to stay uh, stay calm and stay busy on the outside. He has to be smart right now because if, if, if he lets those two last rounds get to his head, he's going to try to go in there. And it, it's happened to everybody where, you know, you get hurt and you want to go in there and you want to hurt uh, the other fighter. But you have to, you have to be smart. You have to pick him off from the outside and move kind of like how um, uh, Giovanni Gonzalez was, was was working from the outside it, something like that because oh, the inside game is another just right hand by Gomez it seems to have hurt Arroyo for the Arroyo needs to hug for the second time in the fight Arroyo is hurt he is fighting back and he's coming in, Chris. He's staying on the inside. He needs to. He needs to stiff. He needs to punch him uh, with a stiff jab and, and move. And a good body shot there by Arroyo. Seems to, there. You another one seems to get Pitufo's attention. Again, Pitufo says didn't it hurt. Pitufo's inviting him in. And if you're Gomez, that's what you want. You you want the the young fighter. The taller guy to fight you on the inside. That's what you want. And he's and egging him solid on. Right, solid right hand by Arroyo. I think that one did get Gomez's attention. Maybe hurt him a little bit. Despite the fact that he said no. And like we were talking about, you have to keep your guard up. Yeah, At any moment, any punch can change the story. Yeah, absolutely. And Arroyo, Arroyo needs to go for broke here. You're down two rounds to zero <clears throat> with a knockdown, I might add. You, you need to turn it up I like what you said I, I I respect what you said maybe in a longer fight maybe even just a short six round fight but a four round fight you have to go for broke Dylan Pitufo can definitely end the fight early yeah I, th I think he's he's got the power in this in this matchup here hey, I'll tell you one thing I yes. haven't seen a tougher smurf <laughs> <laughs> the skill level is is uh, in Arroyo's favor, but I think just the, the toughness and the grit and the power belongs to Pitufo, um, Pitufo Gomez. And there goes that body, body shot again. How, how, would you, how would you rate that round for Marco Arroyo? He started off great, fantastic, but Gomez closed, man. Gomez closed that round. You see the calm is in, um, in Gomez's corner, and he's sitting down, he's listening to his coach. You know, it. you have to think that the experience has to do with that. Arroyo only has, only has three fights, That's a but big, he's hanging in there. That's a big part, yeah, man. Juan Gomez Torres came to win today. Did not come to lay down for anybody. Sporting a solid 3-12 and 12 record with one knockout. And looks like he might be improving today to 4-12. and 12. Final round, damas y caballeros. Este es el round número 4. El último Last round of another, yet another exciting fight. Yeah, we. I mean, once again, how many times have I given props to Toscano Boxing Promotions, Global Sports Streaming, Best in Boxing, Fight Hub TV, Fight Hub TV, all streamed on Fight Hub TV. What a fight, man! What a fight! 
You know, uh, we, we did close already with our main events. Um, our swing bouts are just as good. They're, they're good fights. And solid exchange. The one that needs to go for broke is is um, Arroyo, and it seems like Gomez Torres is the one trying to close the show. Yeah, I want to see Arroyo sit down on those punches. He he, he needs has a knockout to. right. Yeah, now. he has to. You mathematically, you're not gonna win the fight. You get three knockdowns, maybe, maybe you get a draw. You need to knock out your opponent. Looking back at this fight, Papa, you're gonna look at it. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna see. You need to take more risks. Take the risks now, and it seems like that's what he's doing, taking the risks. As he tries to land that hard left hook, but with no setup. There he goes, lands the one, two. Might not be enough. You know, I want to see Marco use that long uppercut because Pitufo is shorter and there than you him. go. He lands a hard hook, does Arroyo, but he, he, needs, he needs to close. He needs to jab and bring that uppercut after it. And, and his only chance of winning here, Dylan, um, if we're both out. if we're both correct, is a knockout. You need to knock out your opponent. You need to go for broke. You got you got one minute to save your career to not start off two and two as a professional boxer. Oh, and there we go. That was a good exchange by both. And he's going for broke. He is trying. Marco Arroyo is trying. Gomez is not going to give him an easy win. We got 30 seconds left. 30 Marco seconds, Chris. Arroyo Can he do trying. it? Marco Arroyo is trying. Gomez is holding on. And now he has 20 seconds to save his career. And a hard left hand and a hard right hand by Gomez. Not going to give him this win. He is not going to give him this win. Oh, what a shot! And he's out on his feet. He survives. Wow. Props to him. He what fought to the end. A fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we stuck around for the swing bout. We got a fantastic swing bout. We got a, a, a slight upset in in uh, Juan Gomez Torres. 3-12, 3-12, excuse me defeating Marco Arroyo of Stockton, California. Actually, it's not official yet. It's Dylan, not, a, it's not it's, official. It's not official. We never know. I think we do know. We should know, right? We should, but you know how it is with the, uh, you know. This, 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 these, this is a solid exchange to, to close, to close the, the fight. You got two warriors. You got one fighter trying to start off his career three and one. Another fighter not wanting to take another loss. And they close the show. They close the show. That was a great round for, for, for Marco. I would have loved to see that, you know, from the beginning. Maybe, maybe the beginning of the of the third round. The, definitely the beginning of the fourth round where you know you're right. behind. You absolutely know you're behind. It might have been a little... Too little, too late. Absolutely. Too little, too late. And it seems like it's taking the the judges a little bit too long for what seemed to be a very easy fight to score, Dylan. And I really do hope for for the sake of boxing and, and for for the sake of Juan Gomez Torres that, that we don't get a robbery here. 
No offense to Marco Damas Arroyo y caballeros, III. después de cuatro We're rounds de combate, nos vamos con las tarjetas de los jueces. After four rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges' scorecards. No sin antes un fuerte aplauso a ambos pugilistas para Juan Gómez Torres y Marco Arroyo. Los tres jueces, all three judges, Juan Luis Barba, Leobardo Ibarra y Francisco Pacheco have the same scores of 40 to 35. Los tres coinciden en tarjetas 40 a 35. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision. Su ganador por la vía de la decisión unánime. Puritito Tijuana. Juan Gómez Torres. And, uh, y también as, fuerte uh, as we had called it, Chris, there was justice yeah. for Gómez. Absolute justice. The, we definitely did not want to see a robbery. You guys at home did not want to see a robbery. Um, Yo, you, yes, you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.